Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim. Well, the World Economic Forum, where the leaders met in Davos, I'm telling you, we are seeing the Antichrist system rise. If you don't know who George Soros is, he is uber wealthy, multi-billionaire, globalist, atheist, just in the, and this is around the world, but he has funded, he's behind the Greta Thornburg thing. He, big time, he funds everything anti nationalism. He is a globalist. He is a, he is helping set up the one world government of the Antichrist, the New World Order. That's just truth. Anybody who knows anything about Bible prophecy knows this guy is a key instrument. Do you remember the original? Now, some of you don't like the Left Behind series, but do you remember the original one where Kirk Cameron was in it years ago? And there was a scene where the guy who plays the Antichrist, Nikolai Carpathia, he had two, two men who really set the stage for him, and he turns on them. That's how I feel about George Soros. He's one of those men. Well, at this forum with world leaders, he made a statement, now I want to get it as accurate as I can, something to the effect, the 2020 elections will determine the fate of the world. Did you hear me? The 2020 elections, he's talking about in the United States, will determine the fate of the world. And I think he's talking about other nations too. I think that has reference for him, for Israel. I don't think it's a surprise that Benny Gantz has met with Nancy Pelosi Listen, things are happening at breakneck speed. Additionally, word is leaking that the Palestinians are in fact coming on board with the peace plan that Israel will celebrate that none of their settlements will be disturbed. Albeit, I've been saying this for over a year now, maybe a year and a half, that I believe in the West Bank what they're going to do what was leaked before is determine that because there's like two and a half million Palestinians there. There's 250 to 300,000 Israelis that no settlement will be disturbed. That's still given Palestinians, even if you call it Israeli sovereign territory, that's still giving them land. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, things are moving at warp neck speed. And I just, you know what? I'm just sharing so that we are kept informed. Not fear-mongering, nothing to worry about. If you have admitted you're a sinner in need of a Savior and believed on the Son of God, Yeshua, Jesus, Son of God, God the Son, having always existed, left glory, laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, never sinned, shed his blood on the cross at Calvary, his precious blood, to pay the debt for our sins once and for all, past, present, and future sins. He died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. That's what 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4 tells us, the gospel. If you believe on him, if you are, if you believe Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, lest anyone should boast. If you believe that Jesus paid the debt once for all, for all your sins, and it placed your trust and faith in him. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes and is justified, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, 13, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There are over 200 verses in the New Testament that we are saved. We are rapture ready. We are heaven bound. The nanosecond we believe on the Son of God and his finished work on the cross of Calvary, his death, burial, and resurrection. Boom, that's it. Hallelujah. Then, as we abide in him, as we learn our identity in him, you already are in him. The Bible says you're a child of God, an heir of, heir of God, a co-heir with Christ Jesus. The nanosecond you believe, you are seated in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus. You may not even know it. You're saved, but you are, and you will not perish. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his 
only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want you to know God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. We are a blessed people. <laughs> Hallelujah. The grace of God is so amazing. And we are living in the most exciting time in church history, the final moments of the end of days. We occupy and redeem the time. We choose life. We live. We fulfill the destiny that he's laid before us as Holy Spirit leads us. He does the work in us, all the glory to God. The nanosecond you believe, you are born again. You are indwelt with Holy Spirit. You are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. Check out Ephesians 4.30 and Ephesians 1.13 and 14. Um, well, that's it for the World News Update and reminding us that we're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Faith plus nothing equals salvation and eternal security. I did a video called Faith Plus Nothing equals salvation and eternal security. Watch it if you have it and if you have questions. Well, I want to give you his blessing before I let you go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his countenance be lifted on you and his shalom, his peace, perfect, whole, complete, nothing lacking, nothing missing, be yours in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus. I pray and I bless you. God bless you guys. Remember, greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. And the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead abides in you. Shalom.